Easter weekend, some places taking advantage of the nice spring weather we've had so far. This is a video from the Rockefeller Center up in New York City where organizers put together this very cool floral lamb display. People can stop by and see the sheep dressed in their finer Easter fleece, of course. <laughs> <laughs> organizers say the setup will only be available for this Easter weekend. They are beautiful, but it is also random, but it, very yeah, pretty. It, you know, it's a unique one to say there, but you know, folks, whether you are traveling this weekend or celebrating here at home, you could see some nice, but we're hearing windy weather, and that doesn't stop with just Easter. Which means it would be a good time to have that Easter fleece, of course, to of course. battle the wind. Special Easter fleece. <laughs> Brooks Miller, meteorologist, Rachel Coulter, joining us. So what type of wind gusts are we looking at here? So fortunately, tomorrow won't be quite as windy as today, but still, I think, noticeable. We're going to see those wind gusts around 10 to 20 miles per hour tomorrow, and I think we'll calm down just in time for those early morning services, but then as the day progresses, the winds pick right back up, and again, peaking at about 20 miles per hour by tomorrow afternoon. So noticeably breezy, just not quite as windy as what we had today. Today's max wind gust put us at 30 mile per hour wind gust at the Charlotte Douglas International Airport, and that was recently upper 20s out towards Lincoln and Gastonia, and that's the case up towards our higher elevations as well. H tower camera showing that it's still windy out there now. Temperatures reaching 78 degrees. We were 10 degrees above average. We woke up pretty close to average though this morning in those mid 40s, and we're going to be even warmer heading out the door tomorrow morning. So here's what that means if you do have any Saturday night plans. Really comfortable conditions expected, and eventually these winds will taper off, especially later on this evening. Temperatures back into those low to mid 60s for late night plans, and then heading out the door tomorrow morning. Here's your morning low forecast temperatures right around 50 degrees, even in our higher elevations. 50 one out towards the I-40 corridor, forecasting a low temperature of 53 in Charlotte, 54 if you're listening in from our southeastern counties. And that's just for those early morning services. Lunch, brunch plans, temperatures already picking up into the 60s and low 70s. Easter egg hunt should be good to go as well with partly cloudy skies at times. Temperatures topping out in those low to mid 80s. And we'll stay there for a good portion of the afternoon. Here's the setup right now. We've got high pressure and control to our south. And that's what's allowing for the sunshine, but also the warmth. Not only at the surface, but looking up overhead as well. And then just to the north of us, that's where you have that shower and thunderstorm chance. Severe threat continues out towards Ohio, and that severe threat will continue to the north along this cold front and warm front as to the north of our region, and that really shouldn't push farther south into the start of the week. So I do think it's possible that a few of those storms clip the northern periphery there of North Carolina tomorrow afternoon, but that should stay out of our area. We're just going to stay warm, dry, and breezy at times, especially again on Tuesday. Those winds will really start to pick up out ahead of our next cold front. That'll move through in between about Tuesday night and Wednesday morning. And what's going to happen is we're going to see an additional opportunity for some showers and thunderstorms. At this point, most of that rain looks to fall overnight and into early Wednesday morning. And that should limit that severe threat a little bit. But if that timing shifts around just a little bit, if we have some more fuel to work with, the storm threat could be picking up just a little bit. That'll be something that we keep a close eye on. So check back in with us as we get closer and closer to the middle of next week. But outside of just the rain and storm chances, I think the bigger story is going to be the drop in temperatures by about 20 to 25 degrees. By the time we get towards Thursday afternoon, we may barely make it to that 60 degree mark. Many locations only topping out in those upper 50s by Thursday afternoon. So a few showers do look possible as you head out the door for that night's game on Tuesday night. But Easter plans, it's just beautiful forecast ahead. And then look at your morning low temperatures. That's the other part of the story here. High temperatures dropping to the low to mid 60s Thursday, Friday, Saturday of next week. But you may not want to plant anything, despite how beautiful it is. We could have some frost develop across the area Friday morning and Saturday morning towards the tail end of the seven-day forecast. So a very springtime forecast, warm temperatures, then cool temperatures with shower and storm chances in between.